Hello everyone! Welcome to Ram's Tutorial Educational Channel. In this video guys, we are going to tackle or discuss about or distinguish between the real events and fanciful events. We can't deny the fact that when we talk about real events, it means to say it happens in a real life. Whereas, when we talk about fanciful events, it cannot be happen in real life. That means to say it was fancy, it was fake, that was an imagination. There, was, there were no basis at all. Whereas, when you talk about real events, major viewers or major students, it's, it shows about the real happening in this world. And that is our, our topic today, or we're going to tackle or discuss about fanciful and real events. Here we go, class. Real events and fanciful events, meaning to say, class, it's happening in real life, as I said ago. Fanciful events cannot be true, or that is only an imagination. Right, my dear viewers? So now we are going to help you how to distinguish in every statement how to identify whether that particular statement is a fanciful or a real event. Please watch my dear viewers. We're going to strike now. Number one. Direction says that we are going to write R on the blank if the sentence expresses, means to say it shows or it tells us, reality. And if if it is expresses or it tells or it shows us about a fanciful event. So now class, please keep on watching and we are going to continue until we discuss it thoroughly, one by one. Let's start with number one. Ah, uh, please follow guys. Red lizard blows small balls of fire. Do you think, major viewers, that a little or a small lizard it blows small balls of fire? What do you think of it? Let's think at first if these particular animals can blow even the small fire or a great fire. Is it a real event or a fanciful event? What do you think, major viewers? So I am going, or we are going to write letter F. Why? Because there is no lizard that blows the small balls of fire at all. And that is how you are going to distinguish the real and the fanciful one. Let's start number two. Explicit glass. Bees helps flowers grow. Oh, this particular statement that the bees helps flowers grow. Remember in our science and technology subject that remember that these particular insects or bees are a pollinator, are a pollination. It pollinates flowers. That is the role. They pollinate flowers transferring from one another to another flowers and it creates a great color of flowers. And that is the role of a base. So this is, that was based on trough. Okay, there were a basis. So we have first to write R. So we're going to write here, my dear viewers, letter R, just because it shows about the real events. Three. Again, this are sweet. We can't deny the fact, my dear viewers, that candies are sweet. Even though children really like to eat sweets just because they really like candies. But at the back of it, when we eat candies, it turns that our teeth. We can get it a tooth ticket or having a problem with it. So the answer is R. It happens in real life. Four. I got my powers after a spider bite me. Oh, my dear viewers, try to think of it. 
Let's say for example, once the spider bite me, so I transform it into what you call I got my powers. So, do you think that that particular statement is correct? Is it real? Or it happens in real life? Or cannot be true? And which is a fanciful event? So, we are going to write, of course, letter F, which is a fanciful one. Now, my dear viewers, we have to have first five and six. So I want you to think it first, but I'm going to read it, my dear viewers. And then I will give you time to think whether it is R or real events or F or fanciful events. Our teacher is kind. Let me think it. An elephant is bigger than a mouse. Come to think, major viewers, I will give you a minute to answer that. I know that you're ready. Here we go. Let's answer first with number five and six, my dear viewers. Again, our teacher is kind. We know that, remember, my dear viewers, that this is happened in real life situations. That most of our teachers are kind. They are devoted with regards to their work, being a teacher, being a pedagogue, being a being the what you call the mother, the second parent in the school. Remember that that teachers help the students not only in reading, not only in writing, but all of that. And that is the role as a teacher. It is not an easy task. This is a kind of obligations that it is a continuous obligation. Here in our statements that our teacher is kind, this is happening in real life. So that is real events. So we're going to write our major viewers because it's happened in real life situations. Next number six. An elephant is bigger than a mouse. What do you think major viewers or major students? You know that an elephant is the largest animal in the world. So it's happened in real life. So this is actually are or real events that is how you are going to distinguish with your viewers the real events and fanciful events this is for a third quarter lesson okay in language so we're going to proceed to seven eight nine and ten so i'm going to erase this one first guys so we're going to change that and we're going to add seven to ten in order to finish our lesson today which has real events and fanciful events my dear viewers so this is very much important class remember my dear students to read carefully the sentence and every sentence of course understand that the words being read you need to comprehend that before you write the answer and of course before you submit your answer of course to your teacher remember that you need to apply proofread or you need to read it you need to recall it or review it before you submit it remember that when you submit it that your answer is incorrect so automatically your answer is incorrect so let's proceed to number seven i know you're familiar with this sentence remember especially children our kids they really like this, especially in the month of December. They really want to receive presents from their parents, of course, or titos and aunties. Because they really like it. Okay, so this is number eight. So remember, my dear viewers, when you read every sentence, you need to comprehend that first. 
whether the sentence is actually shows about real events or fanciful events. The Philippines has many islands. Number ten, my dear viewers. Two. Okay, that's it. Again, for number seven, we have Santa Claus or Santa Claus live presents for us last night. Presents means it's a gift. So this is very much important that remember that we hear the news that Santa Claus left us presents. Okay, especially especially in month of December. But here in our statements that Santa Claus live presents for us last night. So is that real or happen in a real life or is that real events or a fanciful event? Come to think my dear students. So our answer is R. Why? Because Santa Claus, we know that the story of Santa Claus, his work or task is to what you call give or share his blessings, of course, especially to children, to the family, to the needy families, right? Okay, so this is what you call real events. Next, the dog saves the girl from drowning. We know the story that dogs is man's best friend. And, of course, it's also a short story that there's also a story will happen like this in this particular sentence so this is letter r or real events because it happens in real life or it was based on the story that was based on truth nine the philippines has many islands we know that philippines my dear viewers it composed of many islands Okay, so this statement or sentence, it shows us the real events, why it happens in real life, even though that we know that our country is composed of islands and islets. Okay, so this is our, our real events. <coughs> Excuse me. For number 10, we have two angry giants destroy the village are you agree with this statement for the last statement guys that the two angry giants destroyed the village but when we apply a story or even though a movie it can happen but when we apply in a real life situations but this particular statement is not showing us that real events but it shows about fanciful events it was an imagination that these two angry giants destroyed our villages so we're going to write F hope major viewers to Ram's tutorial educational channel and newly subscribe to my channel don't forget to hit the notification bell icon so that you're updated in our latest video tutorial and hope this video guys will help you a lot in doing your assignments of course if you have any questions or any suggestions to be discussed please comment down below guys okay thank you again for spending your time to ram's tutorial educational channel see you next round bye bye